Hey guys, uh, it's been a little while since I made a video, but today we have something kind of interesting. It's a IRC chat program with ComputerCraft, which is a mod that adds ComputerCrafts or ComputerCraft computers that, well, they uh, they run Lua, <coughs> so it's not going to be the prettiest code in the world. But first of all, we're going to start up the server. So this will log any activity that is uh, passed through it and also handle um, the main table which holds all the uh, information on it. <coughs> so we're going to make a username here and we're going to call this one user1 and we're going to call this one, can you guess it, user2. Um, so we're going to send a message through this one first and we're going to say hello and also we can press enter if we wanted to make it all blue so you can see this is ID 1 and we're gonna send another message and we're gonna send that to this is ID 2 so if we look in the server <coughs> it uh, shows up with the the time that it was sent and the ID so this is a simple program um, and all the, the source code will be in the description in a paste bin, so you can go ahead and download it and uh, you can use it on your worlds. Now, uh, in my main world, we've actually created relays so we can go a lot farther. Um, fairly simple process. If you want to know how to do that, you can put that in the comments if you want, to, want me to show you how to do that. But anyway, for those of you that want to see the code, and um, that's it. <coughs> There we go. Uh, also, a log file is displayed as well, so that's nice. Uh, so, edit startup. There we go. So, first of all, we, we initialize RedNet and it uh, binds it to the top, and we have a message table that we send back and forth, um, essentially just storing all the information. Um, we have this info uh, table that we're going to send. Uh, to and fro from this and this will basically give the computer it's sending it to all the information like distance, message. Um, distance is only applying to how far away the uh, computer that sent it uh, had been, so how far away it's been from the server. And we have a message count just so whenever it relays it to these guys then they know how many messages to render um, <coughs> and you know this is the times that stuff like that uh, the the clients are a little bit simpler I think in some cases so you start up it's still, it's still a little sick so you might be able to notice that uh, so right here we are detecting whether um, a message has been sent or not. So once we send the message, then we have the detective, uh, or we have the, we're waiting for another message, essentially. Um, right here, we have an os.pool, and it's just pulling the event um, whenever the message is sent. And then it clears the terminal, and then writes all the messages that it's been sent. That table is important because it's getting all the information right here. So message sent, sender ID, sender distance, and it's going to print the message. So a uh, nice little system. Um, if you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. And I will see you in the next video that I make. Um, once again, all the source code and the paste bin link is going to be in the description. So you can download this and try it out for yourself. <coughs> uh, fairly easy to use system. Just set up these and make sure they are on the top. Um, but I'll see you in the next video.